Welcome to the Global Child Prodigy Awards and here we have Einstein of our time and uh, a quick introduction of yourself please. Mm -hmm. Just a small thing that you could say about yourself, just a <laughs> one liner that you could say about yourself. Hi, my name is Sabuto Isaac Berry. I'm seven years old. Okay, th th that was a short introduction, so let's just go deeper in there because uh, let's just start with your achievements. So at six months to nine months old, he started speaking, so wh that's when his parents realized that he was actually prodigious. And he started writing books, he's written about terrorism uh, in a recent publication. So would you like to talk more about your book? Mm. The main of idea of my book is focused on the topic of a Muslim child's struggle okay. to create a world without terrorism. And that Muslim child is me, as it says on the back cover of the book. All right. So it is about his struggle as a Muslim child to fight against terrorism. And what inspires you to fight against terrorism? Uh, I've heard about... Uh, countless terrorist attacks, yeah. and I, uh, I am disgusted by how one religion doesn't respect another. So I try to create a world without terrorism, uh, and respect all. And I'm trying to make one religion respect all other religions. That is so so noble. And la now let's just move to your education. So uh, about your life how do you feel i mean uh, what do you feel as a prodigy i mean when you recognize like we're here to celebrate you so um just uh just how do you feel i mean uh, how do you generally feel about this uh, that you're different from other children you're much greater or you you have an intellect that's yeah if it's uh, uh, from a really big corporation i i feel a little exhilarated oh. from uh, oh that honor okay why do you feel that it's an honor to be recognized uh, uh, by a global international corporation yeah and uh, what were you named after I, I see there's an Isaac in your name so is it after Isaac Newton yeah uh, but <coughs> my name my middle name wasn't originally Isaac okay. it was Patek oh well, uh, a retired, a retired plane pilot oh, yeah. named Mafudur Ramna Rahman okay. started to watch my videos. Yeah. Because f about fifty years ago, yeah. he was studying something complicated about uh, yeah. dynamics. dynamics. I don't really okay. remember. Yeah. Uh, but. He started studying about something complicated. Okay. Uh, but that was 50 years ago. And what do you saw that 50 years later, some two-year-old was teaching it on the internet, he started uh, to watch my videos. Wow, that's uh, so and great. Yeah. And he, uh, <coughs> he thought that I should be named after Sir Isaac Newton, yes. the prodigy that started... Uh, solving math problems uh, when he was a child. Yes, and you are a perfect image for that. And uh, talking about that, so uh, what do you think you'll do in the future? I mean, uh, going ahead, do you see us as yourself somewhere in the future? Uh, I mean, let's say, just say five years down the line, what, to, what would you be doing? Where do you see yourself? Um, <laughs> did you not get the question? Uh, I really see myself getting uh, more and more interviews and uh, uh, going to uh, going to university going to university any u universities in your mind uh i would be 12 years old and i heard a 16 year old was working at nasa oh so you want to work at nasa day. no uh i really want to teach as a physics professor Oh, so he wants to be a physics professor. So what field of physics do you like? I mean, uh, wh wh where do you want to see yourself? Motion or uh, maybe astrophysics? Or where do you see yourself? I mean, what, what do you see? Uh, I see you, myself. Uh, or do you love uh, physics as it is? It, yeah. What perspective do I like uh, physics the most? Mm, That's right. Really, 
m motion, like kinematics and dynamics. Yeah, so um, I heard... I was the studying the roller coasters, <coughs> and I was also studying the mo movement and acceleration of things like Atwood's machine. You probably have heard of it, right? A little bit. I'm not such a good person like you. So um, let's just uh, so um, just tell me about what inspires you to, uh, I mean, write as well as do such complicated maths and physics. Well, it all started when I was one year old. One year old. Yeah. Actually, when it, uh, it w I was two years old, I think. I got two interviews, as I said, okay. both uh, uh, focusing on chemistry, okay. and I was able to solve uh, all of the questions that were focused on chemistry, and uh, all of the questions, and especially the periodic table ones, so they were the most easy for me, all but right. that, yeah. So, yeah. um, so so many different fields chemistry physics mathematics and also book writing so oh, what else do you plan to do i mean in life yeah uh <coughs> if someday i also plan to write a book a few years later about uh, trying to eliminate math anxiety okay plan to do that okay so uh, do, do you think people are anxious of maths well uh, the other day, I was watching TED Ed and I heard about something called math anxiety, in which uh, uh, people think they're not smart enough to s solve even a simple m math question. Right. So, uh, 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 so you do not feel that people do uh, do have that anxiety, and uh, everybody can do maths? Yeah. Okay. But tw uh, nonetheless. 20% of the population has math anxiety. That means every one in five people has math anxiety. All right, so um, for the children and the adults having a math anxiety, can you tell to the camera once one inspiring message that you'd, that you'd like to deliver that you don't have to be scared of mathematics or physics or chemistry or anything that is full of information, yeah? Try to persevere in the subject you're learning. Don't give up very quickly. That's how you can get rid of your math anxiety. Because math anxiety means even if you try hard, you think you're still not going to uh, get the problem right. But uh, that, that's an incorrect philosophy. Uh, if you try enough, eventually you will get it right. So, and what, what uh, uh, among that, so how is your family guiding everything that uh, you're doing? So how are they supportive and what are they doing to uh, encourage you? Uh, not really every, anything. I just really like to do math, physics, and chemistry. Right. It seems to be really fun for me for some reason. Okay, so how is your family supporting all of this? What's their reaction? How many people are there in your family? Yeah. Uh, in my inner family, mostly f four. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a brother. Yeah. I ha have one brother. I have my mom, my dad, and myself. That's so great. And uh, uh, just, uh, well, just uh, coming back to... You've been recognized by President Obama. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, uh, recently you've also published your book. And uh, when, what, uh, after becoming a physics professor, which is the field that you'd like to explore more? I mean, wh where would you like to go? Uh, or do you have changing plans for the because uh, you're diving into different fields, yeah? into physics and coding that's what I'm recently doing right now you're doing coding yeah coding and physics C++ coding to be exact all right so uh, yeah just continue about it okay uh, can you tell me uh, so you simulate stuff using your C++ uh, C++ is really a, th a thing for uh, calculators or yeah. the things you want to say uh, like you can print hello world or yeah. 
something. So, uh, I mean, uh, how are you relating uh, programming languages with uh, uh, physics? Yeah. Uh, really, I solve physics problems and then I try to recreate a compiler that can solve them uh, uh, near, nearly uh, uh, 10 or, or uh, 10 or 100 times quicker in like a, a millisecond. I try to design those, and that's really easy because you all you need to do is command the compiler to do so, and boom, it just shows you the answer. That's so great. Using technology for physics, that's so important in this world, and people are doing it, and he's doing it such a young age. And uh, since this is the Global Child Prodigies Award, and you, we are celebrating you, so there will be a lot of people and a lot of children who will be taking inspiration from you right now. So just just one line, just one line for every child out there that wants to try something that is out of, uh, I mean, that is uh, at your level. Uh, I mean, he wants to do more mathematics. He wants to do more uh, chemistry. And how that is at a yeah. very advanced level. Yeah. Intermediate. So just one line for all of the people that you that will be watching you through this. Persevere in every subject, as I said, because uh, he even if a subject is very hard for you, eventually you get a problem in that subject right, and you can continue on from there until you know most of that subject. Yeah. So my message is just persevere.